hey guys so i am back with another video two times in a row we're on it second video we're about to get this <laughs> so today is going to be a review and look on the new kylie cosmetics holiday edition palette so this is limited edition i think she brought it back maybe like two or three times so far but once it's gone it's gone this is like her christmas um eyeshadow palette so it has different packaging than the regular palette so it's silver and metallic has a mirror so for $42 you get a mirror I know a lot of people were complaining about that but you do get a mirror um there's nine shades in here there's some shimmers there's some mattes and you get like a lot of different pop of colors this time like the olive green the blue the silver I did the look on that you guys will see later today I have the silver going the blue going and then like some um, darker shades down here in the um, crease this is her other one and excuse I know it's dirty but this is the one that I mainly use um, I have this one in my makeup artist kit um, I have another one that I use for myself and basically I use that one because it has tons of mattes and it has like the blacks and the dark brown and the you know transition colors that you can use so this one is I get the most use out of now all of Kylie's eyeshadow palettes are popping. Like, I've got, heard people have different reviews for them. I think people are saying that $42 is too expensive or, I mean, first of all, I don't ever use the mirror here, like, very randomly. I just, I mean, it's nice to have, but I don't, like, I'm not, I'm not going to use this probably. So, um, that's not a problem for me. $42 is not that expensive. I mean, there's palettes that are, like, 60 bucks and you get less eyeshadow so i think that you know expensive is a relative term but i don't think that 42 dollars like this is a bad deal or anything like that um i did purchase this when she had free shipping so shipping i think to the u.s is about eight dollars so i did get it just for like the 44 with you know tax and stuff so um this palette i would definitely say it's a lot different it's cool tone so you have like this cool silver um there i think these are like purple and brown shades but they're definitely on like the cooler side compared to her um burgundy palette that has you know the reds and like the golds and it has a lot of um warm browns and things like that in there um so when i say that this is a must-have palette no <laughs> i don't think it's a bad palette I, the eyeshadows are just like consistent with her other eyeshadows they're very pigmented very creamy um popping she came through with the shimmers on this one like i think they're even more popping than the burgundy palette um but it's just they're very cool toned you know different colors so i would say that if you're a makeup addict like myself get it because you're gonna feel left out if you didn't um but would i reach for this all the time no like the burgundy palette this one is the one that i that is like my go-to palette so if i'm doing a look and I, if i want to do a makeup look and i'm like i don't know what to do i would go to this palette because it has the golds the deep burgundy reds the warm tones which is more my style i think kylie cosmetics are killing the game right now with all of her stuff her matte liquid lipsticks the glosses the eyeshadow palettes so when i saw that she was coming out with another eyeshadow palette i was like oh yeah i'll get that you know, personally anything that's limited edition 2016 the hype around it i buy into the hype i have to get the product <laughs> yeah, and thank you guys so much for watching and there will be many many more videos and you know we're gonna get this channel popping now on to the tutorial so right now i'm taking that cream shade and just setting my entire lid and i've already done my brows and foundation so that way we can just get onto the eyes and the lips so i'm taking that brown crease color and just placing it in my crease back and forth just as a transition shade when i'm using a fluffy brush dense brush and going in with that dark shade and putting that directly in the outer V and as you guys can see that shadow is pigmented I was not expecting it to be like that so right now we just have to blend everything out
putting it in the middle of my lid because we're going to later add the silver shade to the front of my lid. Now, I don't have a lot of lid space, so the trick to adding more lid space is to apply your eyeshadow pretty high up into the crease. That way, it looks as if you have more lid shade than you actually do. Don't forget to blend. Now we're taking that silver shade and can you guys just look at that pigment I mean I was dying inside like she did that <laughs> and we're just adding that to the inner corner of the lid I know girl that pigment <laughs> so now we're just blending the blue and the silver together so what you want to do is add a little bit of blue onto one side of your brush and then add silver to the other side and just continue to flip the brush over back and forth until the line is blended. And then feel free to go back in with your blending brush and just blend, blend, blend. So now I'll be right back and do my lashes and I have my liner on now. So we're taking that olive green shade and we're going under the eye and just smoking it out. Now in person, you can kind of tell that it's green and maybe in pictures, but it's not over like super, super bright. So it was just a quick like pop of color. taking Oprah Rodeo Drive highlighter and just placing it under the brow bone and in the inner tear duct so that it just pops even more. Now we're adding a little bit of bottom mascara and we're going to go on to the lips. So I'm just usually doing a nude lip um, look and the products will be in the bottom bar. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching.